After two weeks of scrutinizing the details of the medium-term expenditure framework, MTEF, and the Fiscal Responsibility Paper, FSP, Senate received the report of his committee and approved 26 trillion naira as total spending for 2024. The approval comes with a projected revenue of 16.96 trillion naira, an amount Senate believes is achievable, although government hopes to cover the shortfall with new borrowings of 7.8 trillion naira. Total federal government proposed expenditure will be 26 trillion naira. Physical deficit will be 9 trillion for GOEs. New borrowings will be 7.8 trillion naira, including foreign and domestic borrowing. According to the Senate, a lot of thinking went into the projections, especially for 2024, that pegs oil price at $73.9 per barrel of crude. It also projected that Nigeria's oil production will increase to 1.6 million barrels per day in 2024 and continue to increase in the next three years. But where there seemed to be some disagreement was in the suggested exchange rate of 700 naira to 1 US dollars. The Central Bank of Nigeria currently pegs it at 900 naira to 1 US dollars, and some lawmakers believe it will be unrealistic to keep it lower. But a few others, including the President of the Senate, Gospel Akpabio, argued that the whole idea was to force the value of the dollar down. Yes. Sir, before agreeing to this figure, all parties, including the Central Bank of Nigeria, sit, including the Central Bank of Nigeria, sit together to push this benchmark at 700. And part of what was offered as reasons is that if this rate exceeds beyond 700 to 900, Effectively, what we are doing is that the removal of so-called subsidy, we are saying we are removed. We will continue to pay this subsidy indirectly. The federal government has also uh, reduced or abolished the issue of a fuel subsidy, which we believe will bring in more revenue. And in a, also the revenue drive currently being done by the president. So uh, Saudi Arabia and many other countries expecting... Ex expecting a possible increase in foreign direct investment to the tune of $60 billion. In making the projections, Senate is not unmindful of Nigeria's inflation, which it hopes will drop from its current 27% to 21.4% in 2024, and even shrinks further to 18.6% in 2026, while keeping the gross domestic product growth rate at 3.76% for 2024. And watching it, climb steadily to as high as 4.78% in the next three years. A major recommendation is the urgent need for Nigeria to shore up its revenue and increase spending. But to achieve this, Senate wants all loopholes, especially in form of waivers from 2015, blocked and thoroughly investigated. The upper legislative chamber also seeks stiff punishments, including jail terms for violators of Nigeria's finance laws. Omo, Bazwai, Arise News.